welcome to your 10 minute workout. We are doing booty today. We've got 10 minutes of booty moves. Are you ready? We're gonna go quick. Yeah? Okay. All right, so first things first, let's get down onto our mat. Your heels are gonna be pulled close to your glutes and you're pressing feet flat on the floor. You're gonna go 30 seconds of bridges. Three, two, and go. So lift and lower, squeezing those glutes at the top and then lowering back down. Try not to slam it down to the floor and take that relaxation for a second. I actually want you to keep it up hovering over the mat so you keep constant tension. Pull up those toes and see how my toes are up and my heels are digging into the ground. That just gets a little bit deeper into that backside. Hamstrings too. Awesome. Two, and hold it at the top. Little pulses for 30 seconds. So each time you lift and lower, you're just dropping a little bit, lift it up, squeeze. Lower, lift it up, squeeze. If you wanna take it up a little bit too, feel free to add some weight to those hips. Just added resistance. Gonna feel it a little bit more in that booty. Good, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down for a second. If you need that little stretch, you pull those knees in. Otherwise, we are going back to the bridge, but we're gonna do single legs. So take one leg up towards the ceiling, the other foot stays planted, and lift and lower. Up and down. Good. Make sure that your knee is forward, toes are forward on that foot that's planted. You don't wanna turn out at all. It's not a very big move, but you're just lifting, feeling it not only in your glutes, but also in the front top of the thigh. Good. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it up, switch it out. Other side, lower and lift. Got it. Squeeze and lift each time. Awesome, squeeze that butt, lift and lower. Pushing into that heel, dig a little deeper into that floor, lift a little bit higher. Eight seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it, keep those hips up and bring those feet together, squeeze those inner thighs together. You're just holding for 10 more seconds and then we'll do pulses. And lift lower, legs together. Lift lower, up, down. Oh my gosh, it's burning. Yes? Good. 15. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Don't drop, four. Three, two, and done. Good, squeeze it in. And let's roll it up. Moving on. We are going into fire hydrant. So I'll face you. When you lift, make sure you're not leaning over to the side. So you wanna stay completely center here. Tuck that pelvis under, nice neutral spine. So you don't wanna be up here, just neutral. And we'll start in three, two, Go. So you lift and lower. Exhale on the lift, inhale down. You want to keep your head down towards the floor so you don't want to over arch here and lift up. Don't worry about watching me. I'm doing the exact same thing you are. Good. 10 seconds and then we're going to hold it up at the top and pulse. Three. Two, and hold it, 10 seconds, five, four, three, two, and done. Good, sit back for a second, and then let's get back into that position, lift to the other leg, up and down. Again, remember, try to keep yourself even, you don't want to lean too far over to one side. Exhale on the lift, inhale down. Lift and lower. Make sure that foot is coming up with that knee. You don't want to just lift the knee to the side. Everything is lifting. This side hurts worse. <laughs> Good. Four, three, two, and hold. 
little pulse. Up, up, up. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and done. Awesome. Sit back for a second. And then you have an option here. You can either go stay here on your, your hands if your wrists are feeling okay, or you can come down and we're gonna just lift up towards the ceiling. Up, down, up, and down. Got it? 30 seconds there. In three, two, and go. Up, down. Awesome. Think about pointing those toes up towards the ceiling. If you want to do this twice, you could always do one set pointed, one set uh, your foot flex, so flat foot up towards the ceiling. Good. Keeping that neutral spine, again, you don't want to arch here, so lifting that tailbone is a big no. Three, two, I want you to hold it at the top and little pulse it. Good. Awesome job, ladies, come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. Set it down, sit back if you need to, wiggle it out, whatever you gotta do. And we're going in three, two, and go. So up, down. Make sure your weight is evenly distributed. You don't wanna be leaning too far over to one side. Good, each time you're lifting, think about squeezing that booty. Push it up, exhale, inhale down, exhale up. Good, 10 seconds like this, and then we have a 10 second pulse. Three, two, hold it at the top, little pulse. Awesome job. Three, two, and done. Sit back. All right, ladies. Bring it up, we have our last and final move. We're going to do a straight leg lift. So you're gonna lift and lower, and then we're gonna end it with a 15 second circle. Y'all ready? Do it. Go. Squeeze that butt. Make sure both hip bones are facing towards the floor. A lot of times what we see in class is people open up their hip like this. I want you to keep it down towards that floor. Lift and lower, keeping that leg nice and straight. Core in tight, exhale lift, inhale down. And let's hold it, circle. There it is. Less than 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's do it, let's go into that other side right now. Lift up and squeeze and lower. Squeeze and lower. Exhale on that lift. You got it, ladies. Tap that floor, lift it up high. Again, if this is hurting your wrist, feel free. You can grab weights even and have a little bit more stability holding onto some dumbbells, or you can bring it down to your forearms. and hold circles. I wish they could hear our music right now. <laughs> and five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, sit back. Now I hope you got a good burner there. 10 minutes is really effective, but feel free to repeat this as many times as you want. Bye.